Welcome, I'm from is a Xiaomi Redmi 9 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you'll be presented with this well, screen right over here and let's tap on the arrow to get started. So to get started we all need to select our language. For me I'm gonna stick with English which is selected by default but if you want to use any kind of other language just scroll down and select whichever language you want to use by simply tapping on it and from there tap on arrow to go to the next page where you get to select your region so again select your region you can tap on the search bar right here to quickly find it but i'm going to stick with this one and then connect to network and this step is completely optional if you want to you can connect to some kind of wi-fi if you don't want to you can completely skip it uh, you might not want to constrain for instance you don't have uh, accessible wi-fi near you so you just tap on skip and the only thing you will miss out right now is the ability to log into your Google account, which rest assured you can do later on after the setup is complete, simply by going to the settings and from there connecting to Wi-Fi and then adding an account. And then next page, uh, terms and conditions, uh, because nothing welcomes us uh, better into our new device like agreeing to terms and services. So obviously we need to uh, check that we have read it. Uh, thoroughly and agree to the user agreement and privacy policy and then tap on next and now it's searching for sim card and again this step is completely optional uh, you can answer the sim card at any point uh, throughout well the user usage of this device and the moment you insert it it will start working as it was supposed to uh, so there is no additional steps needed outside of for instance putting a a pin for the sim card if you have one set on that sim card if you don't it will just you will just pop it in and it will work immediately so i'm going to tap on next button to skip this and then we have google services so location scanning and send user and diagnostic data now you can tap on the arrow to read it further if you wanted to uh, but basically the short abbreviation of this is location gps scanning uh, for apps for instance things like uh, Google Maps will need location or want location, so if you're using that as a GPS navigation, uh, this will then give you a correct well, route. Um, but then there are apps, additionally, for for majority of the time, things like smart appliances that want location for no reason. Then we also have the scanning, uh, scans for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, stuff like that, just so we can connect to it. And uh, send user and diagnostic data, uh, kind of self-explanatory in the title. I got this data on you and sends it to Google. And the thing, the nice thing about this is you can actually disable them. Now keep in mind that when you disable uh, uh, location and scanning, uh, basically uh, all those options will be disabled. So Wi-Fi and uh, well, navigation, uh, GPS tracking will be disabled. And when you try to open an app, for instance, like Google Maps, uh, it will not find your current location until you turn it on. And uh, if you try to use it as a GPS navigation, the device will prompt you that it needs and needs you to turn it back on. So let's accept here at the bottom and go to the next page where we can add a protection to the device. So as you can see, we can add either fingerprint uh, or and actually uh, other lock, uh, locking options, which will be pattern, pin, password. So if you try to add a fingerprint, you will be required to actually add uh, also pin, pattern, or password. You cannot have just a fingerprint. You will also need to have some kind of physical uh, unlocking method uh, outside of the fingerprint because, well, if you cut your finger, uh, you won't be able to get to your phone. So uh, I'm gonna go with just a pattern here. So that's what I'm gonna select. Now it gives us a uh, five second message that we need to remember our password. Uh, like it isn't obvious that passwords need to be remembered. So let's draw it, redraw it, and then tap on an arrow to confirm it. Then we have additional settings. So these are, I believe, uh, Realme uh, outside of Google because we already had options for location, obviously, which we disabled. But Realme is persistent here uh, outside of Google and also wants it. So we have allow apps to access your location. How about no? Uh, user experience programs uh, help us improve our products. Uh, so again, this is basically send user and diagnostic data uh, along with the actual uh, send diagnostic data automatically. And then automatically sync uh, automatic system updates. Um, 
So when there is an update, the device will automatically download it and install it. Uh, this is completely up to you if you want it or not. And then we have personalized ads, uh, which is, uh, keep in mind, I believe if we disable it, yep, this is the only one that is actually like really persistent on trying to stay on. Uh, so it's basically what it does is uh, scans, of, scans for what you search on the web and then gives you ads associated with your search. Uh, so personally, I really don't like this and that's why I want to disable it and also pointing that out. As you've seen, this is the only option that pops out a window. Are you sure you want to disable this? Uh, which makes this super sketchy to me. Wallpaper uh, cursor and the last thing is just a uh, just a wallpaper. So I believe it's only for your uh, lock screen. Uh, yeah, your lock screen as you can see here. It will be changing daily. Uh, so it has a built-in app in the device where it basically gets uh, daily wallpapers and then switches them up on the lock screen. If you want this, keep it on. If you don't, disable it. And then choose a theme. So honestly, there's not much difference between them apart from the wallpaper and icon style. As you can see, the icons in the classic are a little bit more squares with around the corners, while these ones are kind of shaped in all kinds of ways. I'm gonna go with limitless, it's just kind of something that I like more, how it looks like. And from there, setup complete. So let's stop on narrow and get access to our home screen. And uh, there we go. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.